Hello guys, my name is Coach MC. You're watching again SLE Canada, the place to be for international students who want to study living exporter opportunities here in Canada. So, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that more and more international students will see my video here in YouTube. So in today's video, it's going to be another school review and we're going to focus on Saskatchewan. What are the programs that you can take in Saskatchewan? And we're going to focus on one of my school partners, Saskatchewan Polytechnic. So if you want to study here in Canada and eventually you want to move to Saskatchewan, then keep on watching. You know guys I talk about Saskatchewan on my last video you can find it here where I talk about the weather and what to expect from this province and what are the industries but I'm going to have a quick recap so the industries that you can find on this province are agriculture mining energy healthcare community services and many more so what I like about this province is that when you arrive here as an international student you will be able to apply for the Saskatchewan health coverage so if you're going to compare this with other provinces here in Canada you have to wait for three or six months but in Saskatchewan you will be able to apply for it as soon as you arrive so now let's check the housing market how much would it cost you to rent a one-bedroom apartment so if you're going to look at the website the marketplace you will be able to find nine hundred dollars Canadian dollars per month for a one-bedroom apartment so if I'm going to compare that across Canada that's pretty reasonable and affordable because here in British Columbia you won't be able to find nine hundred for a one-bedroom apartment so right now I'm paying one thousand one hundred fifty and some apartments here in British Columbia you will find it like around one thousand three hundred or one thousand five hundred it's pretty expensive here and as well as in Ontario or Toronto I would compare it in Atlantic it's pretty affordable so now let's talk about Saskatchewan Polytechnic so this institution they have four campuses they have in Musto, they have in Saskat Saskatoon they also have in Prince Albert and also Regina so this institution they have certificates diploma postgrad certificates they also have a diploma that could lead to a university degree for instance if you want to take practical nursing and then you wanted to continue it to practical or you wanted to continue the bachelor's degree uh, at University of Regina you will be able to do that because they have university transfer so this is actually ideal for fresh graduate from your home country like for the Philippines if you're k-12 graduates you'll be able to do that they will they uh, we actually call it two plus two two in colleges or uh, technical school and then you will be able to take another two years in university again if you're not familiar about studying here in Canada and you're not familiar what program to take don't miss my free workshop this coming May 1st I will do it live and I will be able to answer some of your questions about choosing the best program here in Canada to avoid study permit refusal so make sure that you register I will put the link in my description Box. so now let's move on to the programs but I want to focus on four areas which are the agriculture human services business and IT industry and I want to tell you the program specific program and the career outcome and as well as the wage after completing the study so let's begin so now let's talk about agriculture. So according to the province, they exported 12.9 billion agriculture food products. And that's a lot, guys. So if you think about it, there are a lot of businesses and a lot of opportunities when it comes to agriculture. And also, according to the recent news about the new PR pathway that they just recently announced, the essential workers agriculture is actually mentioned there if you want to take advantage of this opportunity to immigrate to Canada so you can actually take a program related to agriculture you can actually take a program which is agriculture equipment technician you will find it on Saskatchewan Polytechnic so this program is actually going to focus on electrical heating fuel and also tractor setup focus on agriculture equipment so if 
Once you finish the program, you will be able to get a certificate and work under NOC B. So this is NOC 7321. And the annual salary, expected salary of this profession or skill job is actually going to range from 44,000 to 93,000 Canadian dollars per year. So that's not pretty bad. So do you love working with people? Because now we're going to talk about human services and healthcare industry. So if you want to pursue your career in community services, you can actually take disability support worker or early childhood education. I actually talked to one of the Filipino immigrants here in Canada. He moved to Saskatchewan and he's actually a professional teacher, a licensed teacher in the Philippines. And when he decided to move here, he go back, he went back to school. He actually went to Saskatchewan polytechnic so he took early childhood education and now currently practicing as an early childhood educator he's planning to move to he's planning to continue his studies to University of Regina watch out for that video this coming week so don't forget to subscribe so if you want to work a disability support worker that will be under NOCB the early childhood education that will be under NOCB as well so you'll get $31,000 to $68,000 per annum. And what I like about early child education is that you will be able to open up your own child care center eventually. This is actually a good opportunity for those people who have entrepreneurial mindset and wanted to have their own business in Canada. So now let's talk about business. So Saskatchewan Polytechnic offers a lot of programs that focuses on different areas of business such as financial services, accounting, marketing human resources so now I'm gonna focus on the one that you will get a lot of money after completing your program there is one program that focuses on financial sector as you know guys if you're religiously watching the news a lot of people are investing to Bitcoin they also invest in stock market and a lot of people got life insurance right now so if you want to take this opportunity you can take financial services uh, management they also have post-grad certificate in financial services. So after completing the program, you will be able to get for about 31,000 Canadian dollars as an entry level, and then you can ladder up up to 83,000 Canadian dollars per annum. And that's great. And I personally know someone who took a program this program I think in New Brunswick and she's getting for about $30 an hour so there are a lot of opportunity when it comes to financial services you will get a job on financial sector such as banks or investment companies so for me it's either you take accounting program or focus on financial sector. So now let's talk about information technology. Of course, I'm not gonna forget about that. And one of my struggles here in Canada, whenever I have a student and wanted to take an information technology program, it's so hard to find a program because not a lot of uh, colleges and institutions here in Canada offers a specialized program in information technology. Good thing that Saskatchewan Polytechnic has a lot of programs in um, information technology. So I'm gonna give you the list right now. I actually have the list, the full list of uh, programs on uh, programs in Saskatchewan uh, Polytechnic. It will be on my description box. So do check that out. It will be in my website too. But the programs that I can find here are Computer Networking Technician, Telecommunication Networking Technician, Business Information System. Like I don't see a lot of this program. And I also they also have postgraduate certificates. Imagine guys, you will be able to use this for your masters if you want to continue like your higher education. You can take artificial intelligence and data analytics, cybersecurity, software developer, technology management. So again, there's like it's no brainer. If you pursue your studies here in Canada and you complete a program, you'll be able to get a job in information technology. You can actually get a job in provinces such as British Columbia or Ontario, not just here in Saskatchewan. Information technology is actually in demand. Especially right now because it's a golden age for internet, right? So if you're interested in knowing more about the requirements, how to apply, what's the IELTS requirement, I'll be able to share with you guys. Sign up to my SLE Starter Kit. 
you will have uh, a promo code SLESK so that I'll be able to help you on searching the program that it's going to fit you so that you avoid study permit refusal. So if you're interested with that, check my description box, use the promo code SLESK so that you will be able to waive my SD service fee. So guys, next week we're going to talk about the PR pathways in Saskatchewan. Would you be able to get your residency in Saskatchewan if you decide to study here? I'm going to give you a hint. Saskatchewan is one of the easiest uh, provinces here in Canada when it comes to immigration. We're going to talk about that with Ms. Marcel next week. Do not miss that live webinar. You should be an SE Insider. If you're not, check my description box again. There are a lot of links in my description box that you have to check. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please, please, please subscribe and then like this video so you help me to push out this content in YouTube and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!